There are two ways by which we can get from where we are to where I think we should go to. The first one is while the system is in place, why the official currency system is still functioning, let's introduce pilots, let's provide test mechanisms that give the domain, that explore the domain of what's possible. And then hopefully some of them will emerge and slightly, slowly on start diversifying the system. There is a second way, which is not my favorite, but which is likely to be what will happen. Uh, after a crash, after a meltdown, what we've done so far every single time is you have a total mess, you have everything becomes currency, by the way, it's barter, survival barter. You have a whole emergence of emergency currencies, as they were called in the, the 1930s. In America, they have over three or 4,000 systems. In Germany, you had several thousand, uh, you know, before they were eradicated uh, by central control. Now, the thing to do would be find out what emerges, which ones are working best, and let them move slowly up to the range where they can stabilize the system, provide complementary systems. But that's not what happens. Every single time, as soon as the burst of the crisis is over, we switch back to a monopoly of bank debt money, because that's the normal way of doing things. So in other words, we never get to the zone where the system is actually viable, but the full system is viable. We always short circuit it by pushing back to monoculture. And so far it has been the same monoculture, by the way. Man run a couple of mechanics are different. Uh, in the 1930s, it ended up with Glass Steagall. Uh, today we don't even know what it will end up with. Um, there was a Chicago plan in the 1930s, which was uh, the nationalization of currency, but they still all, everybody remained in the box of a single currency. But I think we should give a chance to systems, business to business systems, social purpose systems, decentralized city uh, systems that actually would provide a richer fabric of experimentation and see what emerges, give a chance to the systems that are the most, are sufficient, efficient enough to be given a chance, rather than eradicate them and go back to a monoculture. That's the box we should avoid. And the moment, the most important moment will be after, unfortunately, a crash. It's only then that the system is loose enough to start innovating. And that is when we need to protect the possibilities for new models to be given a chance to emerge. Let's be ready.